Hello everyone, welcome you all. In last session, we have dealt with the science and technology based current affairs. In this session, we are going to deal with the art and culture based current affairs. See, art and culture is one of the very important subject related to UPSC problems as well as mines. Let us discuss the question number 31. The Archaeological Survey of India has been restoring the Mark and Esau group of temples for the past two years. In this record, consider the following statement regarding Mark and Esau group of temples. Statement number one The Mark and Esau, Mark and Esau group of is called as Kajirao of Vidarbha. The temples belong to Nagra style of architecture of North India. Gobram is an essential feature of this temple. See, if you know the basics about uh, art and culture and then a basics about Nagara style and Dravidian style, one could be able to understand Gobram is present in Dravidian style but not in Nagara style. Therefore, this statement is wrong. Here, we have to identify the incorrect statement. See, look at the statement here and then options here. 1 only, 1 and 2 only, 2 only and 3 only. Here, 3 is wrong answer. Therefore, the answer would be D. See, the aspirants has to know how to eliminate the statements so that we could able to derive the answer. So let us discuss the remaining statement. Yes, the Mark and Esura temple group is called as Kajro of Vidarbha. Therefore, this is right about uh, this Mark and Esura group of temples. Yes, this temple is belongs to Nagra style of architecture of uh, North India. And also remember that this Mark and Esura group of temple is the group of ancient temples. So that is variously known as Mini Kajro or Kajro of Vidarbha. And also remember that the Archaeological Survey of India for the past two years have been restoring this temple which sustained damages from the lightning twice in the last century. And also remember that the temples are belongs to Nagara style of temples that is architecture of uh, North India. The temples belongs to Shaiva and Vaishnava and Shaktfait. So kindly remember those things also Shaiva, Vaishnava and uh, Shakta fight. So this is the important facts related to this temple and also I am giving you one more fact. See, this most of the temples have the simple plan with uh, Ardha Mandaba and then Mandaba and uh, two more things very important with, res with respect to this kind of temples and uh, Antarala and finally Garbhagriha. So kindly remember, so these things related to this kind of temples present. With this, I am moving to question number 32. Which of the following is the not, is not a cultural festival of Jammu and Kashmir? So kindly remember, Mela, Kerbawani, Gangnahe, Shinge, Kagaba Sindhu festival, Chamlial Mela. So here we have to identify which of the following is not the cultural festival? The answer would be B. Gangoy. So this is related to Assam, Manipur and then Nagaland. So this is not belongs to Jammu and Kashmir. So remaining three is belongs to Jammu and Kashmir. So kindly remember. So this Mela, Kirbawani is belongs to Jammu and Kashmir. This Singe Kagaba Sindhu festival is also belongs to Jammu and Kashmir and Chamlial belongs to Jammu and Kashmir. So with this I am moving to question number 33. Consider the following statement regarding Saint Ravidas. See in this year you may expect this kind of question. So kindly go through Saint Ravi and Ravidas and Guru Gobind. So like this. So this is very important. Let us discuss the statement. Statement number one, he was the famous sign of the Bhakti movement. He is considered as the spiritual guru of uh, the Mirabai and uh, he spread the message that the God created man and not man created God. Here, we have to identify the correct statement regarding Ravi that is Saint Ravidas. See, if you know basics about this, you could able to understand that Saint Ravidas that uh, Guru of Bhakti movement. Therefore, this statement is right. Therefore, we can eliminate B and C. So, 50% we have already eliminated. C. By analyzing the option C, A and D, we could be able to understand that 1 and 3 are correct. So, what about the statement number 2? That is important. 
He is considered as the spiritual guru of the Mira Bai. Yes, he is considered to be the spiritual guru of the Mira Bai. See, she was very impressed by the teachings of the Guru Ravidas Ji and become the great follower of him. Therefore, this statement is right. Obviously, statement number three is also right. He spread the message that God created man, not man created God. What does it mean? Which means everyone is created by the God and has equal rights on this earth. With this, I am moving to question number 34. Consider the following statement regarding Pandit Dinadayal Upadadaya. So, this is very important. See, kindly try to know more facts related to Pandit Dinadayal Upadadaya. So, let us analyze the statement here. He started the monthly Rashtra Dharma, mean for spreading the ideology of Hinduism nationalism. He wrote on Chandragupta Maurya and a biography of Sankracharya. And also, he was the elected for Lok Sabha from Uttar Pradesh. See, if you know the basics, we could be able to understand that he was not elected but contested. Therefore, this statement is wrong. He was not elected but contested. So, therefore, this statement is wrong here. But here we have to identify the correct statement. So, go by elimination method. A eliminated, C eliminated, automatically D also eliminated. The answer would be B1 and 2. See, the aspirant has to know how to eliminate. So, from this, we could able to derive the answer. What about statement number 1 and 2? Obviously, those two statements are correct. Yes. See, Dina Dayal's personal life, that is, Dina Dayal Upadhyaya was born in the village near the Farah town in Mathura district. So, kindly remember, he was born in the town called uh, Mathura district. Okay, Farah town in the Mathura district. So, kindly remember, Farah town. Okay. And also, which later went to be named after him as the Dina Dayal Dam. And also remember the most things, most important things about uh, Dina Dayal and uh, Bharatiya Janasanga. After meeting the RSS founder, he joined RSS as a full-time worker called as Prachahar. So, Prachark. So, kindly remember. In 1951, Shama Prasad Mukherjee founded Bharatiya Janasanga. Okay, so I am giving you one more statement here. Who has founded this Bharatiya Jana Shanga? Nothing but Shama Prasad Mukherjee. So kindly remember this name also. You could be able to get a statement. So kindly remember the na names here. Okay, so also remember Dina Dayal was seconded to, to the party by the RSS. And also given the responsibility of molding into the genuine member of the Sangh Parivar. So, he reminded the General Secretary for the 15 long years and also contested for the Lok Sabha from Uttar Pradesh. But he did not get elected as he failed to gain the enough political traction. Okay. Therefore, what is ideology? Yes, the political philosophy of uh, integrated that is integral humanism for India. He visualized a centralized polity and self-reliant economy with the village being the core basis. And also remember, Dina Dayal, just like all the strong leaders, believed in the concept of Swaraj. So kindly remember this word, Swaraj. What do you mean by Swaraj? Swaraj is nothing but the self-governance. So kindly remember those things. And also, there is a mystery about uh, Dina Dayal's death. So what is that? What was this? Kindly go through those things. Just I am giving you. It's a literary works. So, kindly go through this literary works also. You may get your statements. So, this is also very important. Kindly go through this. I am moving with the uh, next question. Consider the following statement regarding the ancient town of Magabaliburam. The Magabaliburam was the second capital of Pallavas. The town was known as Mamalaburam as the name given to the great king Narasimha Varman II. And then, which of the following statement is or are correct? So, here we have to identify the correct statement. Yes, this was during the region of King Narsima Varman 1, but not 2. See, here the name Magabaliram was changed to Mamallaburam during the period of the King Narsima Varman 1. Therefore, this statement is wrong. We can eliminate B and C. What about statement number 1? 
Yes, this statement is right. Magabalirum was the second capital of the Pallavas. Therefore, number 1 is right. The answer would be A, 1 only. See, the Mamallaburam, that is Magabalipuram was the second capital of the Pallavas, who ruled Kanjivuram. Formerly, Magabalipuram was known and uh, called as the Mamallaburam. King Narasimha Varman I was the great warrior. He was given the title called as Mamalla, which means, so kindly remember, so this is very important, Mamalla. Mamalla means the great wrestler. So kindly remember, so this may be your question or statement. So kindly remember, Mamalla means the great wrestler. So that the name was converted from Magabalibram to Mamallaburam, considering the great king and its achievement during the region of the Pallava dynasty it became an important center of art and culture that is architect and literature Mahavallabram was already a driving sea on the bay of Bengal before this time and also remember a significant amount of coins and other artifacts excavated from this region and also it indicated the pre-existing trade relationship with the Romans. So kindly remember Romans. There was a lot of Roman coins present there. And also remember art and, art and architectural and uh, very important things related to Mamalaburam. One is Shore Temple. And uh, second is Descent of the Gangas. Okay, Ganges. Okay. And then the finally Panjarada. So kindly go through the more important facts related to this short temple and descent of the Ganges and Pancharata. I am moving with the next question. In the contest of ancient India, Kaniyan Pungundranar was. This is a very important question. You may expect your statement like this also. Yeah. Tamil philosopher from the Sangamesh, a painter in the court of Chandragupta II, one of the ruler of the Lichivias of Vaishali. And a famous physician in the court of Pallava king Narsima Varma I. See, the straight answer would be the influential Tamil philosopher from the Sangam age. The answer would be A. See, the Kanin Pungandranar. That is, he was the influential Tamil philosopher from the Sangam age. His name Kanin implies that he was an astronomer, as it is the Tamil word referring mathematics. He was born and brought up in Magibalam Patti. A village that is Panjayat in Tirupattur Taluk, that is Sivaganga district of the Tamil Nadu. And he composes two poems. So that is very important. See, he composes the two poems. Just I am giving you the name Purana Nuru. So kindly remember Purana Nuru and Natrinai. So kindly remember these two names. And also his famous Tamil quote that is very important. I am telling you why. Yadu Mure Yavarum Kelir. So kindly remember this quote. Yadu Mure Yavarum Kelir. Why it is important? What is the meaning of this? Yadu Mure Yavarum Kelir means to us all towns are one. All men's our kin is at present, at present, depositor in the United Nations Organization. And also quoted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in United Nations General Assembly while addressing. And also remember, the great Abdul Kalam was the first one to quote this famous quote in the European Nation, European Union historical speech. With this, I am moving to question number 37. Consider the following statement regarding Badugama festival. It is the vibrant festival of Karnataka. So, Batukama is the beautiful flower stack arranged with the different unique seasonal flowers. Most of them with the medicinal values in seven concentric layers in the shape of temple groburam. Yes, this is right statement. And what about the statement number one? No, it is the vibrant festival of Telangana, but not Karnataka. Therefore, statement number one is wrong. We can eliminate A and C. The answer would be B2 only. So kindly go through many things related to this Badukama. So this is related to the state of Telangana. With this, I am moving to question number 38. Consider the following statement. Guru Nanak was born in Talwandi and founded the Dera Baba Nanak in Kartarpur. 
So Guru Gobind Singh authenticated the final completion that is Guru Grand Sahib in the early 18th century. Guru Nanak emphasized the worship of Here we have to identify the correct statement. See, this is very important question and also one has to note very important things about a Guru Nanak. Here I am going to discuss very important facts related to Guru Nanak. So kindly bear two minutes. Here the Guru Nanak was born in Talwanti. But he travelled for the years before he founded the Dera Baba Nyanak in Kartapur. Irrespective of their creeds or castes, his followers ate together in a common kitchen known as Langar. So kindly remember this word, Langar. And sacred places, that is temples and also very important things. Okay, so kindly remember this is very important. And one more thing about this thing is very, he, after, before he died, he appointed the follower called Lena, later he is known as Guru Angad and his successor. Guru Angad compiled the work of Guru Nanak and added to his own script known as Gurumiji. So kindly remember this word Gurumiji. This is the own script of Guru Angad. And also remember the next three generations, okay, next three generations wrote the Nanak name and their works compiled by Guru Arjun. So kindly remember, these words are very important. Finally, in 1706, that is 18th century, Guru Gobind Singh authenticated the compilation and created the Guru Nanak, Guru Grand Chai. Guru Nanak followers increased. So kindly remember those things. By the 17th century, the town of Ramdaspur developed around the Gurudwar called as Harmandar Shai and became the self-governing society. And Mughal Emperor Jagangir, so remember the word Jagangir, saw them as the potential trade. And in 1606, he ordered the execution of Guru Arjan. By the 17th century, so remember, 17th century, Guru Gobind Singh organized the Kalsa movement. So this might be a possible statement. So kindly remember. With this, I am giving you one more information related to Guru Nanak teaching. So kindly go through about his teaching. I am not going to discuss about his teaching due to the time constraint. So kindly go through this also. Let us analyze the question. See, all the statements here are correct. Guru Nanak was born in Talwandi and founded the Dera Baba Nanak in Kartapur. The statement is right. Just now we have discussed those things. All the statements here are correct. Therefore, the answer would be D, 1, 2 and 3 only. With this, I am moving to Question number 39. So kindly go through this important facts also. I am moving to question number 39. Which of the following statement regarding Guru Nanak is or are correct? He was born in Sultanpur Lodi in 14, in 69 AD. No, this is wrong. Just now we have discussed. Therefore, can so therefore 50% we have already eliminated. He compiled Adi Grand, which later became to be known as Guru Nanak Shai. He introduced the institution of Langar, that is the free community kitchen at Kartapur. Yes, this statement is right. We are just now we have discussed. Check with three. Here is the three. Therefore, the answer would be D3 and 4 only. We can eliminate C. No, he is not compiled Adi Grand, which later to be known as Guru Grand Shai. Just now we have discussed uh, those things. See, this is a very important question. So kindly go through about uh, Guru Nanak Ji. I am giving you this Adi Grant was compiled by Guru Arjan. Okay, the Guru Arjan is the fifth Guru. So kindly remember about uh, this details. And then he introduced, yes, he practiced the one of form of Bhakti. This is right. The four the answer would be D, 3 and 4 only. I am moving with question number 40. The last question of this day. Consider the following statement regarding Dakshina Bharat Hindi Parshar Shabha seen in news recently. It was set up in 1918 by the Pandit Matan Mogan Malviya. Its sole aim was to propagate Hindi in the southern state. Magatma Gandhi was its first president. Here, one has to note down the very important things. Why we are discussing? See, recently, President of India, Sri Ramnath Govind, 
ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ವಿಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಅದ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಭಾರತ ಹಿಂದಿ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಸಭಾ ಇನ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪಿಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸಿ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಗಾಂಧಿ ವಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಈ ಬ್ರೀತರ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಚೆಕ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ದ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಮಿನೇಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು its sole aim was to propagate hindi in the southern state yes this is the aim of this dakshina bharat hindi prachar sabha therefore the answer would be d 2 and 3 only and then it was set up in 1918 by magatma gandhi so kindly note down it was set up by magatma gandhi with the sole aim of propagating hindi in the southern state so he was the its prime minister sorry he was its president till he breathed is lost so with this i'm concluding this session thank you all have a good day